Hey, you guys, SEK the Homesteader here with another harvest video. I hope everyone is doing well, you guys. So, again, as I am harvesting, I am pruning back. So, my squash, variety of squash, is slowing up, you guys. So, as I get around to it, I am pulling those vines out because I'm possibly thinking of doing the, uh, what they call it? Oh, gosh. I'll come back to it. Intercession planting. I may throw out some more squash seeds, um, amend the soil real quick, and maybe put out some more seeds just to see if I can get another harvest of a variety of squash. So um, over here was the squash harvest along with the banana peppers and lots of cucumbers again, patty squash. Um, I was able to get to my jalapenos and my Tabasco peppers the variety of tomatoes and I did um, harvest lots of green tomatoes and I said that I will put them in the brown paper bag and do that method and let them ripen in the bag so that's what I will do and I'll also put some on my kitchen windowsill that will help ripen them as well so there's the variety of tomatoes there's so many tomatoes out there you guys the um, lemon cucumbers was gangsta out there this season. I mean, they just did their thing. And I did do a lot of pruning back by my um, fire ring um, raised beds um, so that I can get in there. Most of the lemon cucumbers was inside and they still producing um, a lot. But I also had planted an eggplant in the middle of it. I think it was the Black Beauty eggplant. So I want to be able to free it up so that it can get some sun in there and hopefully give me some eggplants. And I also harvest a whole bunch of onions again today. So I must say that I am pleased with my onion harvest. Will I try to do better? Yes. Um, I should have got out to do another rotation of fertilizing with the Dixon fertilizer, the onion, the specific onion fertilizer. And I didn't get to do that on the right side of the raised bed area, but I did do that on the left side. So that was my basket full um, last week on my left side. So this is my right side. And I also have some of the red um, onions in there somewhere. I forgot the names of them, but they in there somewhere. So overall, um, to get a basket full of onions, I'm pleased with that. Yes, I will try to do better so that I could get me some giant size onions. But these these sizes, I am happy with them. They are actually um, bigger than the ones that I grew last year. So I will definitely give Dixon a go again. But I also will be um, attempting to start my own onions by seed during the four months and then do transplants of the onions to save money that way. Okay. So that is the lemon cucumber. And over here is all my tomatoes, the roamers. Um, I forgot all the different variety of tomatoes that I was growing. But um, I said, let me get them out. Even though they're green, I could get them riped up. Um, a lot of my son's co-workers have been even enjoying the, the uh, green tomatoes. Because y'all know we could do some uh, fried green tomatoes. So... Again, I will do the paper bag method, and all you have to do is put them in a paper bag, let them sit, and they will ripen very quickly in a brown paper bag. So here's our green bean harvest, which I still have lots more beans out there to get. I did harvest um, some, I think it was the early part of this week or last week, but there is still a lot of beans to be harvested and there are still a lot coming in in the new trellis area where there is yellow green and purple i believe okay so green beans green tomatoes ripen them in the brown bag lots of onions oh i forgot to show y'all my cherry tomatoes those cherry tomatoes is all over the place and lemon cucumbers and these have been a big hit with everybody that we've been giving them to. They just tickle pink because they never seen them before.
but it's so many cucumbers to grow i, I definitely want to um attempt to grow uh, another variety different variety next year all right so these are the pears are still de developing but i forgot the name of these you guys and um yeah so that's what it's looking like and again the squash is slowing down you guys, I know I'm supposed to get to that video, and I'm going to try my best to do what I said I was going to do or attempt to try, but you know, you guys, when you're juggling a lot, um, homesteading is work, and when you have a business and a job to go to, it can be exhausting, so you have to pace yourself, but um, I will definitely be attempting to do that video for you guys, and... <laughs> Um, for some reason, I could taste it in my mouth. And I think I'm going to try to give it a go. All right, family. So, this is SEK. I hope everybody harvests is grand. And that everybody is doing their best to preserve. I know somebody did mention um, relish. I have not attempted to make relish. So, now I have been pickling, you guys. I've been slicing these bad boys up. Putting, um that pickling um uh seasoning in there i've been adding garlic in there i have of um i've done several jars and they already tasting good i did the hot brine method where you boil the water and then put your your pickling seasonings in there your dill and stuff like that they will um ferment really quick i don't know if it's ferment or whatever they call it but they will get real tasty real quick when you do a hot brine so I will do some research on that relish thing because that would be really good to um, make some relish. I think that was uh, Queen um, South Carolina that mentioned the relish. And if anybody else have made um, relish with their cucumbers, um, drop a link, drop a recipe link, or I will do some research on that too. All right, family. So this is SEK the Homestead. I hope everyone is doing well. Make sure you be safe and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.